Reinstatement of Gachagua security sparks new political wave, Kiambo Senator Karungo confirms. Embattled Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua has reportedly had a portion of his official security team reinstated just a week after raising concerns about his personal safety. The reinstatement comes amid a tense legal struggle as Gachagua fights to retain his position as Deputy President, a post he has occupied under significant scrutiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your guy Bravin Omondi. The reintroduction of some of Gachagua's security was confirmed by his close political ally, Kiambo Senator Karungo Thangwa, who revealed the partial restoration on Sunday. The state has reinstated part of Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua's security detail, Thangwa announced, emphasizing that the government should now move to reinstate Gachagua's employees as well. Justice must not only be done, but must also be seen to be done, Thang WA stated, pressing the administration to uphold fairness in handling Gachagwa's case. Senator Thangwa, who remains one of the few unwavering supporters of Gachagwa, joined the ousted deputy president at a church service at St. James ACK Cathedral in Kiambu County on Sunday. He was not alone, however, as Gachagwa's appearance attracted several notable allies, including Cleophus Malala, Senator John Methu, Inyandarua, and Senator Joe Nutu, Murange. The visibly heightened security detail around Gachagwa at the event underscored the recent changes to his protection status. In addition to the enhanced security presence in public, a new security team has been deployed to Gachagwa's private residence in Karen, Nairobi, providing increased security oversight at his home. This development comes against the backdrop of the deputy president's recent claims regarding his safety and allegations that he has been sidelined by top government officials. This partial reinstatement of Gachagwa's security detail occurred within days of his emotionally charged comments made just outside Karen Hospital in Nairobi. Gachagwa, who had been hospitalized during the ongoing Senate trial, expressed deep frustration at what he perceived as a calculated move to diminish his authority and even endanger his life. He went as far as to accuse high-ranking officials of orchestrating his removal from the Mashuja Day celebrations in Quail County, further highlighting the growing rift between him and the current administration. Following his impeachment, Gachagwa's office witnessed substantial upheaval, with 108 staff members placed on compulsory leave. Reports indicate that certain staff members were barred from entering the Harambee House Annex when they attempted to report to work. The abrupt change signaled the beginning of what many have seen as a dramatic shift in the political landscape surrounding Gachagwa's position. During his address to congregants in Kiambu, Gachagwa did not shy away from confronting the simmering tension between him and President Ruto. Known for his candid and often sharp-tongued commentary, he directly referenced the fallout, calling out the president with a pointed message. We forgive, but we don't forget, he said, alluding to those who expect Kenyans to overlook grievances. I've heard people saying that three years is a long time, that by 2027, people will have forgotten. But we still remember the suffering imposed on us by the colonialists, the hardships under President Moy. When the time is right, we will address these issues. The former deputy president also seized the moment to criticize what he referred to as the current administration's neglect of key sectors that have faced significant challenges in recent weeks. He urged the president to address these pressing issues as Kenyans continue to voice discontent over the state of various sectors in the country. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps the channel out. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss an update. I've got plenty of exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned. And hey, if you found this video helpful, share it with your friends, it might be just what they're looking for. I appreciate each and every one of you for being part of this community. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. I am your guy Bravin Omondi.